3D environment creation. Let's move forward in this module 1 to part 2, foliage creation. We will start from the bushes. So what we need to know in this part, how to create polygon cube and the plane. Basic knowledge of UV mapping, you need to know how to use auto unwrap UVs tool and how to manually place UV in 2D space. As well, any painting application like a Photoshop or GIMP in order to make cutout in the background and make alpha channel. Okay, before we will move to the technical part and uh, clicks how to do it, I'll try first explain. I will create a spherical shape. I will create that shape from the plane. As you can see, we have one plane. Duplicate it and rotate it a few times. Yeah. And merge to a one shape. And let's check the UVs. As you can see, a plane sharing a UV space of uh, one plant. It looks like a proper leaves. And for a red ball, I firstly just uh, created few shots was camera based wrapping. In any case, as you can see, even texture, it's very dirty. However, leaves looks pretty nice. Okay, so let's move to the part how to create that. Okay, so for a clicking part, create a cube, create a plane, scale it a bit, Okay, enable wireframe in order to see better. For a plane, I will reduce uh, subdivisions to two. Okay, so let's check the UVs first. What do we have? This is a uh, auto UVs, as you can see for a plane we have already perfectly spaced in one to one space. For a square, we have a different shape. We'll delete the bottom part of the plane. I will shrink it down and just flip positioning there and one to one space. Yeah, and for a cube, I will just cut it out and stack it. Okay, so what do we have here? Okay, something like that. Okay, so basically we have um, UVs, as you can see. I have toggled in here in order to see how UVs will look like. So we almost in the same textile density. Of course, if you want to be precise, we can do that. Uh, okay, let's hop first in the transform area. I will select as a main probably part uh, to measure the textile density. This part, because this part is more important. Okay, so we will select it. We will select the map size. It will be texture resolution. It will be in our case 124. Because I will create in Photoshop 124 and I will get the textile density of this part and set to the cubes. Okay, so as you can see right now, they equally spaced. Of course, we can increase it and match it to, to use much more space of uh, texture. However, I will leave for a uh, branch for our trees so it doesn't matter we can reuse that texture we already have them with a texture or with a UVs so I can smooth that cube in order to get the ball spherical shape and uh, for a plane I can just duplicate it a few times okay I'll rotate 90 degrees I'll duplicate it again 180 and probably rotate 180, oops, 180, okay, and in here again, 
for rotated 90 degrees. Okay, freeze transformation minus 45 and 45. Okay, and I will combine everything into one shape. I will select the pivot point and merge it to center. Okay, so we have uh, a shape. We've already with uh, UVs for a cube. Okay, so let's smooth it a few times. Oh, smooth. Divisions 2. As you can see, right now it's a uh, came a ball from a cube. And for a UV space, it's subdivided in here too. So basically we have UVs, we have uh, shapes which we need in order to create that bush. And probably I will scale a bit the uh, base of the bush. 25 it will be okay. I will center it to the world. Freeze transformation. Clear the history. We can do the Libertide history for edit and freeze transformation through modify. Okay, so let's go to a planner. I'll do some cleanup because we don't need this. Groups which are empty already. So I'll name it sphere and an airplane. Okay. So what we need to do next? Next we need to wrap that plane shape around that ball. So in here we can use any poly scatter. So we'll go to the FX area, mesh, mesh editor, and uh, we will select the plane as we want to a plane to cover that mesh or that sphere object. So we'll select the plane, create, create mesh network. In the mesh editor, we will go to distribute, create a mesh, and on the distribute on the mesh method, we will select a scatter or a vertex or random. It's depending on you what you prefer. And in the input area, we need to place the node on which we want to populate that plane. So in this case, it will be sphere. Let's middle mouse drag. And right away, as you can see, the plane want to cover that wall. We need only increase the number of points. Okay, 100, it's more than enough, but Okay, it will be looking great. As I mentioned, it, you can change it to the vertex point, to the random vertex point, as you want. I will leave it in the default. Just select the both sphere and the purple mesh. I will go to the modeling, mesh, combine. And I will export it as a ball. Okay, so the next steps will be, we'll go to Photoshop, I'll drop the texture. Basically, what you need to do, just remove the background. I already did that, but just in case you need to remove the background, you can use Quick Selection Tool, for example, and remove it. But you need to be maybe a bit more accurate than me. And remove it with a bell key. Okay, second thing you can, second method you can uh, select the color range, select it and delete it. And as you can see, you will have that black borderline so in order to remove it you can select whole shape mark it 
modify contract by one pixel Let's invert the mask and delete it remove it background yes okay so what we need to do next create a new page 1024 1024 uh, yeah i'll place uh, in here a texture remove the background because i will try to fill the background with a different color dark green because if it will have some kind of border light very light it will be visible in the texture when the cutoff will be made so i will try to, to do something more close to to the leaves or something dark black we can see some lines in here so basically i've done a bad job in order to clean the texture i will remove it with a riser okay i will duplicate with alt whoops and i've missed okay i will duplicate with alt and left mouse click rotate it and place it and i will do it a lot of times in order to fill this whole texture so probably i will do some time lapse or something like that in this area because i bet it's not very interesting to watch but if you interested as you can see i've created a cluster and after that i've just moved that cluster bit rotated and soon i will copy this bunch of leaves again and we'll and merge it again now it will be fast to cover all this area our leaves as you can see okay so basically we have a texture already yeah Okay, okay. Merge it again. We have that one leaf. Texture. Okay. I will bring it up. And I need to scale a bit, probably. Something like that will be good okay and I need, I need to have a background so I will copy this in background this in here and paste it in here okay I will enable the main texture and we need to do the cut out in that background yep so i will select the area which i need to cut select green background and do the cut as you can see now i will select this layer in order to have all this green part i will switch back uh, top layer again for that big leap I'll go to the channels and I will create the channel. Enable the channel. Ctrl D to deselect. Ctrl I to invert the mask. And as you can see, we have that mask area. And this mask area will be cut it off from the texture. Yep. 
Okay, so we need to save it and we will save it as a TGA for a 32 bits in order to maintain the alpha channel. And I'll call leaves. Hope I spelled correctly. Okay, 32 bits. Okay. Okay, so we'll open the Marmoset tool bag. Uh, let's change the sky to something greenish. Okay, so we will leave lighting as that one for a uh, sky. I'll pick the color. Probably we will add some dark green color let's open that our object which we exported as a ball one as you can see okay we need to apply the texture. It's a was leaves TGA. Okay. We need to do some cutout. And probably I will add some light. One from the top, one from the side. Okay, so I will first instance try to manage the top one. Need to add a bit more brightness. Probably I will change a bit the shape. Okay, and uh, for our next one, so I will increase the brightness okay so in order to look better we can add the fog something greenish maybe too greenish okay and at this moment it looks a bit strange because Marmoset do not show the back cooling faces so let's go to a mesh back cooling great we need a bit of fusion enable GI Let's play a bit again with the lights and distance. I don't like the fork, it's too, too heavy. Okay, and the render set. Things so will remove the diffuse aspect cooler. Ambient occlusion. Looks cool. Apple cascades. Whatever. Okay, so basically, as you can see, we have these leaves. Of course, if we want, we can play with a shader. Probably I will apply microfiber. And we can play with our reflections on that shader. So let's do again greenish. 
basically you can just apply a subsurface scattering on the leaves to look cool as well. Okay, probably we need just to reduce a bit of light. Something like that probably. And as you can see we have head bushes which we will throw in the scene of that cartoony house. 